This earth, 196,940,000 square miles. About six billion passengers. And of those six billion people on the earth, two, two billion of them are Christians. Two billion Christians on this earth, about one billion five hundred million Muslims. One billion five hundred million Muslims, and of the one billion five hundred million Muslims, one third of them are in non-Muslim countries. So where do you find them? You find them in Germany. Over 1,500 masjids in Germany. Where do you find them? You find them in France. One-tenth of the population of France are Muslims. Where do you find them? You find them in the United Kingdom. Where do you find them? You find them in the United States. How many Muslims in the United States? In April 2002, Cornell University did a study. And their conclusions that in April 2002, there were 8 million Muslims in America. And they said at current trends, by the year 2015, there will be 16 million Muslims in America. Scattered out. I come from New York City. Last year, the police department in a study said there are between 600,000 and 750,000 Muslims in New York City alone. Six hundred thousand to seven hundred and fifty thousand Muslims in New York City alone. Over two hundred masjids in New York City. Twelve percent of the enrollment in public school in New York City Muslims. Thirty-five full-time Muslim schools in New York City. Look over around America in the prison population. Like Malcolm X, who became a Muslim in prison, many prisoners are becoming Muslims. 300,000 Muslim inmates in the prisons of the United States of America. And they're growing every day. One of my students gave a talk in one of the prisons, and 17 inmates became Muslims right there on the spot. I just want to give you some context. Now, brothers and sisters, let's go back for a moment. I want to go back in the 50s and the 60s. Um, in 1981, my community opened up a masjid in the heart of Brooklyn, in, in a place called Bethesda Stuyvesant. One of the biggest mistakes that I make, the things that I regret the most, is that I didn't take a lot of pictures of what it was like in 1981. Because if you come to our masjid now, in the year 2008, and you look at our masjid, and you look at the, the, the block, and you behold how beautiful it is, you will never appreciate it until you understand what it was like. In 1981, in our masjid, and we have a brother right there as a witness, we had 15 drug houses. Now, I didn't, I didn't say drugstore. Crack, you, 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 now this, this is Gainesville. I know you're kind of behind some things. But you know what crack is? What? You, you know what crack is? They smoke crack on the car? No. <laughs> 15 crack houses, abandoned buildings. Literally, I want you to imagine this. I want you to imagine praying in a church or praying in a synagogue or a temple or a masjid. And while you're praying, you not only hear the gunfire, but bullets shooting in the church and the synagogue. That's how bad it was. 
And the captain from the 79th priest in our area said that that area, one of the worst, drugs, a robbery, a, a murder, our area where our masjid was, one of the worst in the city. And Allah, God Almighty, helped us, and we closed down those 15 crack houses. We had a 40-day anti-drug patrol where we closed down those 40 drug houses. In 1981, when we came on that block, there was not one Muslim business, not one. But if you come to our masjid today in the same area, we have over 50 businesses owned by the Muslims in that same area. There's no more blight in the area. The, the area is light. It's full of light and businesses and money coming into the, to the neighborhood as a result of what the Muslims did in that area. I'm saying that you can't appreciate Masjid Taqwa now until you see what it used to be like. We started that Masjid in 1981 with 25 African Americans, 100% uh, uh, African Americans, 25 people. But if you come to our masjid today on a Friday, you find 1,300 worshipers in that same masjid that's been expanded since that time. What percentage of those, 18, uh, those 1,300, what percentage of those are African Americans? We started out 100%. But now, maybe 30 or 35% African Americans. Who are the rest? The rest are white European Americans, Hispanics. The rest are brothers and sisters from, from Trinidad and Tobago, uh, uh, brothers and sisters from, from Afghanistan and from Egypt and from, and from Sudan and from Mali and from Senegal. We counted 26 different nationalities in our masjid. So our masjid is growing from a handful of African Americans to an international community. So in order for you to appreciate where it is now, you have to know where we came from. In order for you to appreciate the fact that you can have a black woman who's Miss America, or have a black man and a black woman win the uh, Oscars, the Academy Awards, right? Denzel and Halle Berry, hey guy. By the way, smart people, when I give a talk, they don't sit next to me. No, I'm serious. You'll see, you'll hear, before the day's over, he'll understand that. <laughs> now, brothers and sisters, let me go back for a moment. And, and, and the reason that we go back so that we can move forward. If you don't understand why you're there, why, how do we get there, then you, you are, uh, there's the possibility that you may relive it again if you don't understand the process. So I'm going to take a little bit back and talk a little bit about history, which is very important.